Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Allison Tangersley, and I'm taking you inside KSC. Boeing invited media for an up-close look at its CST-100 Starliner that flew in the company's uncrewed orbital flight test in December. Nicknamed Calypso by NASA astronaut Sonny Williams, the spacecraft will be refurbished for a future flight with crew. That will take place inside Boeing's commercial crew and cargo processing facility at NASA Kennedy Space Center. NASA and Boeing are in the process of establishing a joint, independent team to examine issues associated with the orbital flight test, which did not dock to the International Space Station as intended. NASA is evaluating mission data to determine if another uncrewed demonstration is required. As NASA works towards human exploration of Mars, scientists at Kennedy are evaluating something essential to the astronauts' survival, nutrition. The production of fresh food during long-duration space missions will add variety to astronauts' meals. More importantly, it will supplement their packaged diet with nutrients they need to stay healthy. But what about the effects of space radiation on plants? That's what a team of scientists are studying here at Kennedy. Tomato plants are growing from seeds exposed to simulated solar particle radiation. Analysis of these plants will help identify traits for successful growth on deep space vehicles. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.